Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review and this time around for the 14.5 ounce three week Thanksgiving celebration candle from Bath and Body Works. So uh, now we have information that has developed that these candles are actually intended to be a weekly candle drop uh, collection of candles. So each week, I guess it will, assuming it will coincide with a candle sale on the weekend and they kind of release it uh, like maybe Thursday through however long the supplies last. Um, that's I guess how these candles are going. Uh, it also has been revealed that these do have a color changing labels which I did not even realize but it, it, it indeed does have a color changing label. So this one as you can see towards the bottom where it hasn't liquefied yet. Um, it's like a green color and then when the heat gets applied to the uh, label then it turns into a yellow so it creates like this uh, gradient effect on it which is actually really cool. Uh, uh, so I do appreciate that, especially as like a geeky uh, designer myself. Uh, I do appreciate the color changing aspect on there. So it's a fun little touch. Uh, but yes, so that's basically the background on these candles. And we have the uh, like the last final one that I have, which is Thanksgiving celebration. Uh, so oof, yikes, uh, this one has been hard to burn. That's why it's like the very last one because I'm just like, I really am never in the mood to burn this. So I've only burned this one twice and I'm just like, I really don't foresee myself burning this one very often. And I just kind of want to like get a review out there while it's still relevant to the time frame so we're just gonna go off a two-day burn because I just I really can't like I just really don't feel like burning it more than that so uh forgive me for that so what does it smell like it's like truly like the notes it really smells like mashed potatoes with gravy with like a sprinkle of like a sage uh herbal topping on it and that's what you get from this uh so it smells a whole lot like mashed potatoes uh with butter on top of it it has that sort of buttery potatoey feel for sure it smells just like mashed potatoes uh but then you also get this like uh gooey gravy uh, fragrance mixed in with it as well and then lastly you do get like a slightly uh crispy and herbal sage note that evokes sage stuffing and it really gives it like a slightly um I like that it breaks it up a little bit because the difference between this and the white barn Thanksgiving candle that came out many years back was white barn Thanksgiving I believe didn't really have a sage note to it or a sage stuffing note and it was more just like the butter and the potatoes and it came off as just smelling like uh like cheap instant microwave like potatoes and butter type of fragrance to it uh and it very much gave that type of vibe to it whereas this one i feel like maybe is a little bit more elevated in the sense that you do get a little bit more of a gravy and like a sage uh like just topping is also on there that it makes it a little bit more uh i guess realistic or authentic and a little less like microwave potatoes uh so i guess i appreciate the difference there so while it is similar to the previous white barn thanksgiving candle for anybody who remembers that this one is different in the sense that uh, the gravy and the sage stuffing is definitely uh, more prominent. Um, it's not quite as like just uh, popcorn-y buttery as the previous Thanksgiving candle was. So that's the difference there. Uh, but yeah, it smells like everything the notes list is actually quite authentic. Uh, of course, it's very weird when you're burning it because you walk in and it's just like, why does it smell like gravy and mashed potatoes in here? Uh, so very much a novelty candle. Very much like if you liked Pizzeria, that would be uh, very much the similar type of fragrance here was just like a pure pure savory food fragrance uh, that's very much for novelty purposes. So yeah, it's not something I really look forward to burning and it's not anything that I like would, you know, want my house smelling like. It's very much just like a novelty thing. But honestly, uh, I kind of appreciate or enjoy when BBW does step outside of the box and give us these type of like novelty, unique fragrances. Like, yeah, no, I don't want my house to smell like mashed potatoes and gravy. But as like a fragrance company, a very large fragrance corporation who has access to all the resources and fragrance oils out there to be able to give us unique fun stuff i appreciate that they're finally like going out of the box and giving us like fun like little just gimmies and like novelty things like this because they do have the resources to be able to do so and uh you know even if this doesn't sell well i think they probably make plenty of money to be able to take the hit uh even if this you know has to go 75 percent off or whatever so i appreciate that they still do fun things like this uh and it's not just always the same old you know champagne toast strawberry pound cake over and over and over again so while I don't necessarily want my house smelling like this I appreciate the effort so that's pretty much my thoughts on this Thanksgiving celebration candle
Moving on to the performance, this is the second burn. It has the thick rope-like wicks. It does soot. It burns this just the same as all the other thick rope-like wick ones. Very hot, vicious burn. You can see the soot just billowing off of there. Uh, just trim the mushroom top in between each burns and you're uh, pretty all right. Uh, as for the throw, uh, I was expecting something just a lot more explosive and strong on this, which I guess I'm glad that it isn't. Uh, it's just very much like at a six to six and a half. Like it's uh, very much hovers in like the medium range. It's not super strong powerhouse knocks you out, uh, but it's not uncentered or light either. You can still smell it and it's, you can still smell it when you go into the room, but it's not quite as explosive as I had thought. So I'm actually, uh, I guess happy about that because when I do burn it, at least I'm not being choked out by mashed potatoes and gravy and sage stuffing. So, uh, yeah, very much medium, like six, six and a half range. So, uh, you can still smell it, but, uh, once again, not like a pumpkin pecan waffles, like just totally blow you out of the house type of fragrance. So that's pretty much it on the performance. Overall, obviously, just like a super novelty, like, collector's candle. If you're a collector and if you just really want, like, all the weird, unique pizzeria-type candles from BBW, uh, check this one out. Otherwise, then just keep it moving. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.